हेलो एवरी वन इन द प्रीवियस सेक्शन आई हैव डिस्कस्ड द स्पाइनल नर्व द एफ्रेंड फाइबर एंड द इफ्रेंड फाइबर वाट आर द एफ्रेंड एंड वाट आर द इफ्रेंड फाइबर एंड देर आर द थर्टी वन पेयर ऑफ द स्पाइनल नर्व विच इज द पेरीफेरल नर्व सपोज दिस इज द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड एंड फ्रॉम द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड द टू द फ्रॉम द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड द वेंटल लूट आर एराइज एंड द डॉर्सल लूट आर एराइज वेंटल लूट एंड द डॉर्सल लूट आर आर एराइज एंड दे कम्बाइन टू फॉर्म द स्पाइनल नर्व एंड फ्रॉम द स्पाइनल नर्व सपोज दिस इज द स्पाइनल नर्व विच इज द मिक्स नर्व मिक्स नर्व एंड फ्रॉम द स्पाइनल नर्व द वेंटल रेमाई आर एराइज एंड द डॉर्सल रेमाई एंड वेंटल रेमाई वेंटल रेमाई एराइज एंड द डॉर्सल रेमाई आर एराइज then now the spinal nerve which is the mixed nerve so the ventral ramus is the mixed nerve the dorsal rami are also the, the mixed nerve now the each spinal nerve it is see in the figure this figure is the transverse section of the spinal cord and from the spinal cord these are the anterior horn cell the lateral horn cell and the posterior horn cells of the spinal cord and here is the gray matter here is the central gray matter of the spinal cord the gray matter of spinal cord and this is the white matter of the spinal cord in the center there is the gray matter in the periphery there is the white matter of the spinal cord and this is the central canal of the spinal cord this is the anterior horn cells the lateral horn cell and the posterior horn cells of the spinal cord and from the spinal cord the dorsal root and the ventral root are arises and from the dorsal root dorsal root ganglion which is the sensory ganglion arises and then this the dorsal root and the ventral root join to form trunk of the spinal the spinal cord that arises that comes out from the intervertebral foramen and then this spinal nerve which is the mixed nerve spinal nerve which is the mixed nerve and then further this spinal nerve it is divided into the ventral lamus and the dorsal lamus and here is the ganglion that is the sympathetic ganglion the sympathetic ganglion now this ventral rami and the dorsal rami are the mixed nerve and the this ventral ramus it is larger which is longer than the dorsal rami and it further divided into the different branches of this ventral ramus just like the anterior cutaneous branch and the lateral cutaneous branch now the now very important things there are the first seven pair of the cervical nerve exist from above the corresponding cervical vertebra the first seven pair of the cervical nerve exist from above the corresponding cervical vertebra suppose one there is a one vertebra there is a second vertebra the third vertebra and the seven pair of the cervical nerve exist from above the corresponding cervical vertebra but the eighth pair of the cervical nerve exist from below the seventh cervical vertebra but above the first thoracic vertebra why this is because there are the seven cervical vertebra there are the seven cervical vertebra and there are the eighth pair of the cervical nerve first seven pair exist from above the corresponding vertebra but the eighth pair of the cervical nerve exist from below the seventh cervical vertebra because there is the seventh cervical vertebra and the eighth pair of the cervical nerve now the typical now i will discuss the typical spinal nerve typical spinal nerve the typical spinal nerve it arises from the spinal cord in the form of two root that is the dorsal root and the ventral root the typical spinal nerve the typical spinal nerve it arises from the spinal cord in the form of two roots two roots what are two roots one is the dorsal root and the sense the dorsal root and second is the ventral dorsal it is the sensory and ventral that is the motor the sensory and the motor now this dorsal and the ventral root that joins to form the trunk of the spinal nerve that is the mixed nerve mixed nerve and from the spinal nerve the ventral rami are arises the dorsal rami are arises the ventral ramus is the mixed nerve and the dorsal rami it is also the mixed nerve and this ventral rami supply the muscles and the skin of the ventral and lateral aspect of the trunk and the limb 
ventral and lateral aspect and dorsal MI that supply the muscles and skin of the back muscles and skin of the black from the dorsal root there is the ganglion arises that is called a dorsal root ganglion which are the pseudo unipolar dorsal root ganglion kis tarah ka hai pseudo unipolar neurons pseudo unipolar neurons pseudo unipolar neurons now the ventral rami here is the two rami one is the ventral and second is the dorsal rami the ventral rami and the dorsal rami the ventral rami and the dorsal rami the ventral rami they are the longer than the dorsal rami these ventral rami they are longer than the dorsal they are longer than the dorsal rami and the ventral rami kisko supply karega it supply the limbs it supply the limbs supply the limbs and anterolateral aspect of the trunk anterolateral anterolateral aspect of trunk that is the thorax and abdomen thorax and abdomen and in case of a thorax region thorax region very conceptual the in the thorax region these ventral rami ventral rami are called are called intercostal nerve we know the intercostal nerve in the thorax region these ventral rami are called the intercostal nerve and in the cervical region in the cervical region in the cervical region they form plexus what type of plexus they form the plexus just like the cervical plexus just like the cervical plexus the brachial plexus the brachial plexus now this brachial plexus supply brachial plexus supply these brachial plexus supply the muscles of the upper limb muscles of the upper limb where is the lumbar and sacral plexus lumbosacral plexus lumbosacral plexus that supply the muscles of the muscles of the lower limbs the lumbosacral plexus is what muscles of the lower limb now the ventral rami are the mixed nerve and the dorsal rami the dorsal rami are mixed and the dorsal rami and its branches carry the motor fiber to the deep muscle of the back and sensory fiber to the skin this dorsal rami and its branches carry motor fiber kisko supply kiya motor fiber to the deep muscle to the deep muscle of back and sensory fiber and sensory fiber to the overlying skin sensory fiber to the overlying skin dorsal rami of the spinal nerve supply the dorsal aspect our dorsal aspect of the body dorsal aspect of the body and very important thing dorsal rami do not form the nerve plexus dorsal rami do not form do not form nerve plexus ventral rami form the plexus the cervical plexus the brachial plexus but dorsal rami it do not form the nerve plexus the ventral rami are the longer than the dorsal rami and dorsal and ventral both are the mixed and dorsal rami do not form the nerve plexus they do not form the nerve plexus they do not form the nerve plexus now the next thing 
द टाइप्स ऑफ फाइबर द टिपिकल स्पाइनल नर्व हैज ऑफ टू टाइप्स द टिपिकल स्पाइनल नर्व द टाइप्स ऑफ फाइबर टाइप्स ऑफ फाइबर इन स्पाइनल नर्व टाइप्स ऑफ फाइबर इन द स्पाइनल नर्व वट आर द फाइबर वन इज द सोमैटिक एंड सेकेंड इज द फिसरल फाइबर सोमैटिक फाइबर एंड फिसरल फाइबर सो इन द सोमैटिक देर आर द टू थिंग द सोमैटिक एफरेंट एंड द सोमैटिक इफरेंट द सोमैटिक एफरेंट सोमैटिक एफरेंट एंड द सोमैटिक इफरेंट इन द फिसरल देर इज द फिसरल एफरेंट and the visceral efferent visceral efferent and the visceral afferent the somatic efferent the fiber transmit motor fiber to the skeletal muscles they transmit somatic efferent efferent it means the motor and transmit motor fiber to the motor fiber to the skeletal muscles motor fiber to the skeletal muscles and they are the myelinated fibers situated in the anterior gray column of the spinal cord and these nerve stimulation of these neurons leads to contraction of the skeletal muscles contraction of the skeletal muscle now the somatic afferent it is the sensory fiber and they transmit sensation from the body to the spinal cord from the body that is the sensory from the body to the transmit sensation from the body to the spinal cord that is the somatic afferent and the somatic efferent fiber and sensation of pain touch and temperature are carried from the skin to the spinal cord from the skin to the spinal cord sensation of pain and touch temperature and sensation of pain joint position and tension in the muscles are carried to the spinal cord from the joint tendon and the muscles that is the somatic afferent fiber somatic afferent and the somatic efferent fiber and the visceral afferent and the visceral efferent fibers now the spinal segment what are the spinal segment on the basis of origin of 31 pair of the spinal nerve the spinal cord is divided into the 31 spinal segment just like the 31 pair of the spinal nerve the spinal segment are 31 there are the 31 segment of the spinal nerve that are 31 segment of the of a spinal segment are 31 in number and what is the spinal segment what is the spinal segment it is a portion of the spinal cord it is a portion of the spinal cord to which a pair of dorsal and ventral spinal root is attached kya hai it is a portion it is a portion of the spinal cord portion of the spinal cord portion of the spinal cord to which a pair of pair of dorsal and uh, ventral spinal root is attached a portion of the ventral and spinal root is attached that like the spinal segment now the dermatom what is dermatom next term is dermatomes what is dermatom what is dermatom the area of the skin that is innervated by a single spinal nerve that is the one spinal cord segment the area of the skin the area of the skin that is innervated that is innervated by a single spinal nerve single spinal nerve that is the one spinal cord segment that is the one spinal cord segment 
is called the dermatome what is the dermatome the area of the skin that is innervated by the single spinal nerve that is the one spinal cord segment is called the dermatome now the very important thing which are the clinical associated with the spinal nerve it is the prolapse disc prolapse disc what is the prolapse disc very important concept it is the prolapse disc there is the protrusion sorry prolapse disc what is prolapse disc there is the protrusion of the nucleus pulposus there is the protrusion of the nucleus pulposus posteriorly there is the protrusion of the nucleus pulposus this nucleus pulposus where it is present in the in the intervertebral disc the protrusion of the nucleus pulposus posteriorly in the vertebral canal the the projecting mass presses on the nerve root causing root pain kya hota hai protrusion ho jata hai protrusion of the kiska protrusion hua nucleus pulposus ka nucleus pulposus ka protrusion hua aur kahan par hua protrusion of the nucleus pulposus this nucleus pulposus kahan par present hai intervertebral disc mein aur protrusion of the nucleus pulposus kahan hua posterior laterally hua posterior laterally posterior laterally in the vertebral canal posterior laterally in the vertebral canal and the projecting mass that projecting mass kisko compress kiya compresses the spinal nerve compresses the spinal nerve and causing the pain causing root pain causing root pain and site is the lumbosacral region most common site common site is the lumbosacral region the lumbosacral region lumbosacral region lumbosacral region is the common site and the pain the back pain radiate in the leg along the distribution of the sciatic nerve the pain kya kiya radiate kiya radiates along the distribution of the along the distribution of the sciatic nerve along the distribution of the sciatic nerve that is called the prolapse disc that is called the prolapse disc this is the this figure showing the prolapse disc here is the nucleus pulposus which is present in the intervertebral disc in the outside that the, there is a annulus prepubosus in the center the nucleus pulposus and this nucleus pulposus herniates from the intervertebral from the vertebral canal and presses on the nerve root the spinal nerve the nerve root and that causes the root pain and this pain is radiated from the back towards the leg region along the sciatic nerve and that is called also called sciatica that is called the prolapse disc the prolapse of the nucleus pulposus from the vertebral canal that compresses the the nerve root and that causes the pain in the region of the nerve root most common site in the lumbosacral region the lumbosacral region which is the most common site the lumbosacral region which is the most common site the lumbosacral region and pain radiates along the distribution of the sciatic nerve this is all about the spinal nerve that i have discussed that there are the 31 pair of the spinal nerve and the, each spinal nerve arises from the spinal cord by the two roots the ventral root the dorsal root the ventral root and the dorsal root and dorsal root is sensory the ventral root is motor and they join to form the spinal nerve that, that forms the jo- joint to form a spinal nerve and from the spinal nerve the two rami are arises one is the ventral rami and the dorsal rami are arises and the ventral rami that forms the different plexus of the nerve the cervical plexus the the lumbar plexus and the dorsal rami do not form the plexus and both the ventral rami and the dorsal rami are the mixed nerve and i have also discussed the dermatome the spinal segment and the prolapse disc this is all about the spinal nerve this is all about the spinal nerve thank you